Hey everybody, welcome back to the Smitty Geek channel. I'm your host Tim and today we're doing another food review. This time we're trying somewhere new. Today we're trying something called the Roost Chicken and Biscuits. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with the Roost Chicken and Biscuits, they are tied in closely with 7-Eleven. What that means is anytime there's a new 7-Eleven store in your area, usually there's a Roost Chicken and Biscuits in the store. So we just recently got a 7-Eleven in our area. And lo and behold, if there wasn't a Roost Chicken and Biscuits there. So this is something I've heard some things about. Um, and I've been wanting to try it. So been anxiously waiting for them to open so I could go ahead and try it and today's the day so we're going to go ahead and jump in um, for those of you who aren't subscribed and you like content like this go ahead and smash that subscribe button leave me a like leave me a comment let me know that you're watching this channel is growing every day so this obviously helps out the algorithm and it helps me get more people like you interested in what we're doing so without further ado let's go ahead and jump in first of all what i got was a basic combo it's a tender chicken and a chicken tenders combo now the price of this was $7.89 um for two tenders a side so i got mashed potatoes and it comes with a biscuit and a drink so i got a lemonade and it was right at ten dollars so we're gonna go ahead and take a look of course here's the mashed potatoes and gravy here's the biscuit kind of reminds me of a KFC biscuit um, and two good size. Oh, wow. These are good size chicken tenders. I can definitely see you definitely get your money's worth. And then I signed it out but tried their chicken signature sauce. Um, you know, just about has got their own type of sauce. I figured I'd see what theirs is. So let's go ahead and get in. First off, let's try a chicken tender. And of course, I got a cold lemonade to go with it. Anyway, let me get in. Let me get a sip of lemonade real quick before I jump in on this. Oh, that lemonade is good and sweet. Interesting looking signature sauce that they have here. Kind of smells a little bit spicy. They had a lot of different types of sauces that you could get, but I chose to go with the signature sauce just to have something to compare it to. All right, so here we go. All right. That's good. Surprisingly good for a gas station uh, chain. So, here you can see the tender itself is all white meat. Um, it's got a good crunchy coating, a good full size piece of meat, lots of flavor, not overly spicy, um, has a nice warm profile. And the signature sauce goes well with it. This sauce is good because it does give you, it's kind of a bar, smoky barbecue-y flavor with a little bit of heat. And I don't know, maybe some mayonnaise or something in there. But it actually pairs very well with the chicken. Um, I think it actually brings the flavor out a little bit in this chicken. Mm-hmm. Might be a little, a little hint of molasses or something sweet in that sauce. Just enough where you can tell that there's something there in the flavor profile. Let me go ahead and try this biscuit. Um, this biscuit does seem a little hard. But we'll try it anyway. Let's see how it compares. The biscuit's okay. Um, not the best biscuit I've had for a fast food replace. 
And let's try these potato mashed potatoes too. Um, you know, the biscuit's a little dry, it's crunchy. And if you're like me, you kind of like your biscuits kind of soft and flaky. And they're not, in my opinion, they're not as good as, say, KFC or Bojangles, which are both chicken places. So, um, you know, not, not, not really a fan of their biscuits. But let's try the mashed potatoes since I did get the side. Let's see how the mashed potatoes and gravies compares to my standard of fast food mashed potatoes and gravy, which is KFC. Let's see how they compare. Okay. They have a good, solid, thick texture, texture to them. The gravy is nice. It's a good, warm, brown gravy. Um, I think the consistency of this may be as good as KFC, believe it or not. These are not bad. I like the mashed potatoes. Now, Here's the secret. Let's see how the biscuit holds up when you dip it in the mashed potatoes and gravy. Let's see how the two of these compare. Let's see if that makes a difference. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the biscuit does pair well with the mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, I think if you're eating the biscuit by itself, you may be liking something, but if you eat it with something like the mashed potatoes, you know, that kind of turns it up a notch. So, yeah, I would suggest if you get mashed potatoes um, and, and the biscuit as a side, then you, you'll probably come out all right. I think that would be a good, the way to go. So, you know, definitely changed my mind after eating the mashed potatoes with the biscuit. I think that's a better option. So, overall... I'm going to say the chicken is really good. I'm going to go out on a limb and give that an eight. Um, very good chicken tenders, especially for a fast food place. Um, they're good. They're crunchy. They've got a nice warm flavor. They're not spicy. They're not dry. And more importantly, they're a good full size chicken tender. So I'm going to give them an, an eight. Would I get this again? Most definitely, and I probably will make this a regular stop since it's close to my home. So, you know, I think that if you have one of these in your area and you want to try something a little bit different, by all means, go for it. Because this is actually good. Um, definitely lives up to the hype I've heard about the roost. So, there you go. Um, that's the roost chicken and biscuits. Um, if you've got a new 7-Eleven store local in the area, then you should probably find one of these there. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you very much. You know, this channel is growing a lot. Um, right now we've got, you know, 638, 639 subscribers. You guys obviously get behind what I'm doing. Some of you watch my random music trivia videos, and some of you guys watch some of these feed reviews and some of the other stuff I've been doing. Either way, I appreciate you guys. I'm going to continue to do giveaways and, um, you know, s several different things to keep you guys interested in what I'm doing. So, again, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know you're watching. And uh, we'll see you again soon in the next video. And don't forget to use the hashtag SyncTheGeek to find me. But until then, you guys take care. Appreciate you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.